Hey, everybody, it's me, Chris Raygun. Whoa, look, it's me. It's me behind me. Isn't that scary? There comes a time in every man's life where he is forced to confront that which he used to be. He is forced to confront his past. And unfortunately, I am a YouTuber, which means my past is just online for the rest of time. So I figured uh, it might be kind of an interesting idea if we went back to some of the oldest videos on the Chris Raygun channel. And I don't mean the oldest public videos. I mean the oldest videos, period. Like some of the private videos that go back to like 2007, 2008. And see if we can survive without cringing ourselves into a fucking sarcophagus. I'm gonna be real with you guys, I've been putting this video off for a very long time because I don't, I don't think I can handle, I don't think I can handle the cringe that we are in for today. I have been on YouTube since 2007. That is a very long time. That is a, that's a lot of growth. And that's a whole hell of a lot of character development uh, that probably puts me completely at odds with the person that I used to be. Oh my god, I'm fucking, I'm screaming all, I'm screaming already. I'm screaming already on the inside. Holy fuck. May 11th, 2009 at 11.38 a.m. At 11.38 in the morning, I uploaded this. Let's see what this shit is. Holding my drink. Holding my drink. Holding my drink. Holding my drink. Don't let anybody tell you that you're not funny enough to be successful on the internet, because that, if I were to see that from anyone, I would say, you are fucked, don't quit your day job, actually maybe consider dying. Oh my god, oh my god, it's a parody, it was, it's a parody before I had any audio equipment, before I had any audio software, and before I even had a semblance of understanding of how to write music. Okay, okay, okay. You can do this. You can stomach it. What you want, burger? Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? I share a Burger King and Wendy's in the past, but all of it was hard to get and none of it would last. I'm looking for a new thing, something kind of in between, like a big overrated pork chop flavored Dairy Queen. So. Actually crying. I'm actually crying. My lyrics aren't this- aren't this bad still, are they? I really hope not. <laughs> oh my god! I did a- I did a thing of, of, with We Didn't Start the Fire. Which is interesting because that's the first Social Justice the Musical. So I've done this before. Oh my god, what if it's the same? What if it's worse? What if it's worse now? College humor, chocolate rain, smashes here, and Fred is gay. Carolina, hen vagina, some of them are old. <sighs> Fuck. I hate this. I hate this. I have to believe, I have to believe that I, I've Violent improved. video games. I have to believe that I'm improved, so let me just, let me just behavior re recapture myself as here. Much Okay, 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 okay. That's all I needed. I just needed to know for sure that I'm not still that terrible. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? Holy shit. I'm actually, I'm not pretending to cry. Like, I'm actually for real tearing up with how terrible this shit is. So that's 2009. That's exactly 10 years ago, basically. Uh, so let's see if we can go even further back. How to lower your weapon in Halo 3, January 14th, 2008. I don't think you guys are prepared to see what you're about to see. Anyway, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to lower your weapon in Halo 3. And I'm going to show you now. Oh my god, what is now, my this? My Xbox isn't on right now, but I'm going to demonstrate on how to do it with the control. First things first. <laughs> look at the production have, value, man. You have to know. The fucking camera shift and I look over like, ooh, ooh, camera 2. <laughs> go out, make your Halo 3 movie. <laughs> oh man, I was using Windows Movie Maker because I didn't have anything else. It's kind of cute. Alright, those aren't so bad actually. I somehow got worse. There was a period where I started out, you know, kind of cringy but not like horrendous. And then I got to like really terrible. 
and then I got back to like kind of okay again, which is where I'm probably at now. <laughs> Basement renovations, a few days off. Let's see what this is. What year was this? This was 2009. Tiny little smidgen of a problem. Look at that hair, uh, man. What the fuck happened to my hair? It used to be so vibrant and full of life and curly. I, I, I Listen, all right. I understand why people thought I was Jewish looking at this shit. I was an awkward looking fuck, wasn't I? Would you believe that this guy would eventually end up getting laid kind of a lot? One thing that I do find kind of fascinating about looking back at all of these videos in order is how often I actually used to post. Like, this is like June. I don't even know what the fuck this is. I'm not clicking that. There's no way in hell I'm, I'm clicking that. But this is like June 28th, 2008. This is June 29th, July 1st, July 3rd, July 4th, July 4th again, July 5th, July 7th, July 9th, July 18th, July 22nd, August 6th, August 7th, August 9th, August 9th, August 16th. I used to be a fucking workhorse. I don't know what the hell happened to me. I guess you truly do get worse with age. <laughs> well, hi there. Hi, how you doing? Howdy. Uh, I am uh, Michael Baker. I am. Uh, Jesus you may know Christ. my son Matthew. He does. Jesus. Oh, this is <laughs> the 360s upside down. So fucking stupid. What was I doing? What was I? Was I on crack? Okay, I think we should start the- I think we should start checking out some of the early Chris Raygun stuff. Like, some of the earliest Chris Raygun proper stuff. And I believe it was March of 2014 where I actually decided, you know what, I'm gonna start taking YouTube seriously. And it was actually all because of a breakup. I broke up- uh, this girl broke up with me, and I was super fucking sad, and I was like, you know what, instead of being a sad piece of shit, I'm gonna actually start taking this YouTube shit seriously. Like, you can tell, like, all of this is just garbage. It's just like basic thumbnails from like random parts in the video. And then like at a certain point, I, I think here where there's like Photoshop in the thumbnails and like there's actual like, you know, there's actually titles and like graphic design going on. So the earliest one is, is this Rise Against Q&A. I don't know if this is going to be all that interesting to watch. Hey everybody, uh, Chris Ray Maldonado here. Uh, welcome to the first Q&A. It's weird because like I actually did have a following back then. It wasn't like nearly as huge. It was like I think maybe 900 people. But that's still like a, you know, that was like that was enough for me to be like, "Oh, you know what? 900 people. I could probably grow that into like something that could be something." Here we go. Fucking kill me. I uploaded a video called Kill Me in, uh, on April 30th, 2014. Let's see what this shit is. Hey everybody, Chris Ray Maldonado here. Uh Obviously, I don't have uh, Adobe Premiere. Uh, I don't have Adobe Premiere anymore, so I can't make videos as good as I usually can. So let's get to the update now. Okay, so first things first, uh, Machinimas—they're coming. They're gonna come. Yeah, right. You fucking liar. <laughs> you had no fucking intention. But I'm working on a few other ones. So whichever one's finished first, you can tell. You can tell. Like this is exactly the point where I was like. I, I felt like I just wanted to be a piece of shit. Oh boy, the one that started it all. A gay- hashtag fucking Gamergate. <laughs> Good lord. I actually probably don't- I don't think I would care anymore. Like, I feel like- I feel like I look at this video and I think, why- why so serious? You know what I mean? Like, I look at it now as an adult and I was like- I don't think the issues I raised were necessarily incorrect, but like the ferocity now of this video is so needless. I didn't want to talk about Anita Sarkeesian. I didn't want to talk about Phil Fish. I didn't want- Look at how angry I am. Like actually, like I was so- And this is probably also because of the breakup. Like I was also just like, I broke- This, <laughs> this girl fucking shattered my heart. And then I was just like, you know, coming into my own on YouTube. And then I was- I, I saw this shit happening and I got so mad. But I feel like now, I don't know, I feel like my stance now is just... Why so serious? Like, why are you Discussion! Taking, like, why are you taking yourself so seriously? The whole point of this entire discussion was to talk about journalistic integrity. And to talk- Oh my god, I, I can't even relate. I can't even relate to the amount of care. Maybe that means I used to be a better person, because I used to be able to care about shit, but like, I don't know, man. There's something so weird about seeing this again. 
Games are racist, according to PBS. And it's this guy. You remember this guy from back in the day? Ooh. What are the ways the NPCs can end up as racist? What are some of the ways NPCs can end up as racist? Well, not that I've seen this in any game that I've ever played, really, but um, perhaps the story team decides that this NPC is a character in the game's lore who happens to be racist. This is a very 2015 video. You can tell that this was posted in like 2015, 2014. <laughs> I don't disagree with what I'm saying, but like, I mean, just the format of it is so old. It's amazing to me that there are still people who do this kind of thing. Here's a fucking cartoon character. I'm gonna make a serious argument while accompanied by a logo. I don't know, man. I'm glad I grew. Feminism or parody? A very Pose Law Christmas. December 24th, Christmas Eve, 2015. Let's see how this goes. Let's just not do any social justice warrior stuff today. Let's let's not talk about the aggressive left. Let's not talk about anything political. I haven't heard that term in a long time. The aggressive left. Good lord. You can even tell, like, back then I was sick of talking about shit seriously. Like, even in 2015, I was like, let's just not talk about this stupid shit. It's kind of interesting while he was black he was terrible and bad and awful and used to cut off white men's hands and didn't you know actually claim his son but as soon as he claims his son and goes over to the oh, look at that look at that it's the first what i didn't know that this was in here <laughs> that's kind of neat Hey everybody, Chris Reagan here. Welcome to the first episode of a show that I like to call Perfectly Fine. So this Richard Spencer guy gave like a really weird speech where he sounded like a creepy Nazi. Tail oh, Trump! Man. God damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Ah! Okay, so at the time, you have to keep in mind <laughs> when this video was posted, Richard Spencer was like a new kind of person. He wasn't like this known piece of shit. I mean, I'm sure to some people he was, but like not widely. So I saw this guy acting like all edgy and shit and doing like fucking stupid salutes and I kind of just assumed at the time because so many people at the time were calling me a Nazi that people were calling him a Nazi and it was like unfair you know what I mean because I was like oh well if people are calling me a Nazi and people are calling him a Nazi you know that kind of makes me feel like oh maybe there's not that much credence to that assertion. Obviously, totally wrong on that. He's uh, very clearly a Nazi. He was just caught on fucking on tape uh, saying some crazy shit. But even before that, uh, even before that specific uh, tape incident, you could kind of you could kind of tell. Uh, totally ignorant on on that one. So it probably just didn't. I was totally misinformed. I totally fucked this one up. I still like that video though because the the mattress with the 250 stab marks in it is pro it's pre it's pretty fucking pretty good idea for some fucking reason. <laughs> I think we've gone through a decent amount of garbage today. Some of some of the stuff was super cringe. Some of the stuff I look back on and like, uh, I feel like, oh yeah, I probably would have done that topic a little bit differently. I probably would have done that a bit more lighthearted, I guess. Overall, uh, this experience wasn't nearly as horrifying as I, I as I was certain it would be. Hopefully, this was like somewhat interesting to you. Uh, I, I don't know. It was probably garbage. <laughs> Anyway, I'm I'm Chris Reagan. I'll uh, I'll see you soon with a with a real video, like a proper one. I found a loophole around bullying children, guys. Just bully yourself as children. It's just a great idea. Wait no more, guys. I'm putting on the red sweater. Grabbing a 360 controller. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. 